Good evening and welcome back to Twin State Sports. I'm Zach Seminar. We all knew the end was coming for Ole Miss head basketball coach Andy Kennedy. Just didn't think it would come so soon. Kennedy coached his last game on Saturday, a seventh straight loss for the Rebels. And then it was announced yesterday that Kennedy would leave the program effective immediately. Kennedy's final game will go down as a 17-point loss to Mississippi State. He leaves as the winningest coach in the program's history. Tony Madlock will take over on an interim basis, and he spoke with the media today. The thing just dis didn't go the way we wanted them to go. Anytime you lose a basketball game, you lose one game. You lose two, three, four in a row, seven like we've done. I mean, then all of the negativity comes out. You know, that's when you start think you start doubting your coaches, your teammates, and then it just happens. I've been in a long time, you know, over 20 years an assistant coach at Division One level. So I, I've seen a little bit of it all. I've been through a little bit of it all. So it's just one of those deals, man, you just take it. Uh, you, you trust everything you've learned from all the head coaches I worked under, and you just go with it. Ole Miss hits the road for Missouri. They'll play the Tigers tomorrow at 8. The offense nor the pitching was where it needed to be to challenge a Southern Miss baseball club that was far more superior to the Diamond Dogs on opening weekend of the college baseball season. Mississippi State was swept right out of town by Southern Miss after their 5-2 loss on Sunday. The Golden Eagles outscored MSU 23-6 in the three-game series. The Bulldogs hit just 2-12 as a team in the opening series. They'll look to pick up the pieces when their long season opening road trip continues at Jackson State Wednesday night. Out to the beach we go, a perfect day for the Great American Race on Sunday. Danica Patrick making her final cup start. Peyton Manning behind the wheel of the pace car. It was an uneventful first stage up until the closing lap. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. throwing a block, sending him sideways. He's able to save it, but everybody else gets all bottled up. Causes this multi-car melee. Eric Jones involved, so is Ty Dillon. Daniel Suarez has a wreck race car. And Jimmy Johnson's also involved. Kurt Busch, meanwhile, he would coast to the state one win. Lap 101, more carnage. This time, Brad Keselowski coming together with Chase Elliott. Casey Kane involved, as is Danica Patrick. That is what you call a fitting ending to her NASCAR career. She comes home 35th. Two laps to go right near the front of the pack. Ryan Blaney turns Kurt Busch. Matt DiBenedetto, Alex Bowman, Stenhouse. Oh, a bunch of guys involved in this one. But it would come down to the final lap after the restart. Eric Almirola can taste victory. Down the back straightaway into turn three. But Austin Dillon gets a good run and sends Almirola into the catch fence. And on the 20-year anniversary of Dale Earnhardt winning the Daytona 500, it's Austin Dillon who claims the race win, returns the number three car to victory lane. Heartbreak for the 10 team. Darrell Wallace Jr. comes home second. Denny Hamlin third. This the second career win for Dillon. When he caught the 10, he, he, he tried to block, and I just had a lot of momentum. And last lap of the Daytona 500, you just don't lift. And actually, last couple laps, we're lucky to get through there. My heart is broken. Uh, I'm so devastated. I... I... I thought I was going to win the Daytona 500, Vince. Um, just disappointed. I did everything I could, and uh, unfortunately, I ended up in the infield care centers. It's, it's, it's a sensitive subject, but I'm just so emotional over where my family has been the last two years that I don't talk about it, but it's just so hard. And so having them here to support me is... <sighs> Yeah, well, so much goes into it that I'm sure it gets emotional. And obviously, we had our auto racing challenge. I haven't heard anything about the oh, winner. Oh, right, but the winner. Yeah, so I don't, I, I'm waiting along with <laughs> you at home to see who's the winner. I know I made Maybe my picks. Maybe they've already been contacted directly. We'll have to find out. Yeah, I made my picks, and one of my drivers that I had in my top 10, he was out nine laps in. It was wow. one of my wild card slug choices. Hard to and know. Not a good one at that. Yeah, okay, too wild. <laughs>